can't take the heat, but they can do well in your spring and fall gardens. Their colorful blooms are a welcome addition. I'm here with Dr. Anne-Marie van der Zanden from ISU, and tell us more about pansies. Sure, Liz. I always like it when I get to talk about some of my favorite plants. <laughs> um, what I have today are two different types of viola, which is the genus for um, both kinds of, of flowers we're looking at today. There's the typical garden pansy, which has a much larger flower, mm -hmm. and then the smaller flowered uh, Johnny Jump Up, which is more similar to the native pansy. And um, breeders have done a bunch of hybridizing and created different colors and uh, different kinds of combinations and also selected for the size of the flower and so that's why we have a bigger flower. Okay well are there certain varieties we should keep our eye out for? It really depends on what you like as far as color and then also whether or not you want to have the splotch on them. Mm. So this is considered a clear faced pansy uh -huh. um, whereas the one that you're holding is actually the splotch and it looks kind of like a little face when you look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now are these easy to grow? <laughs> They're really easy to grow. These are great plants. They're really healthy looking. You can put them in containers early in the spring, say March or so, provided the weather cooperates. If you fertilize them uh, every week and then water them well and then deadhead them, which is removing the spent flowers, they'll continue to bloom well until the summer until it really heats up. And then at that point, there's really not much else they'll do for you and they'll just kind of fall apart and you can take them out of your containers. But they're edible, right? They are edible, although I've never tried them. Uh, they look great. I've seen them on uh, cakes with a white frosting. Sometimes mm -hmm. people will put like a sugar glaze on them so they're kind of sparkly. The most important thing is to make sure that they weren't treated with some type of a, an insecticide when they were being grown or that you haven't done that in your own garden. Okay, that's a really good point. <laughs> Thank you. And if you'd like more information on pansies, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gilman.